Okay, so you guys in the parking lot trying to figure out what you're going to do next. One of your friends is asleep. Kwando's waking him up, getting ready to come in. Yeah. And in the same parking lot, King Von pulls up. And someone allegedly tells Von that Kwando's in the same parking lot. And you ultimately see this on the video. Von gets out of the car, goes straight for Kwando, and just starts hitting him with absolutely no provocation. There, there were no words that were said between the two. It seemed like Vaughn just went straight at him and just started attacking him. All right. You were right there when it happens. What went through your head? Shoot, I was on the phone when it first happened, and I didn't even see him even walk up. Like, and then I didn't even know it was even him. My partner looked at me, and I looked at him like, damn, like, like, like you know, both of us shot like, damn, what's going on? We don't even know why, why, why this even just happened. Like, feel me? We kind of clueless. It's like in my head, I'm like, why somebody fucking with my little brother? You feel me? It's like that's what's really going through my head at the moment when it first pop off. I'm like, damn, like, and then I'm knowing like we just got here, so I'm knowing he ain't did nothing to nobody out here for somebody to really want to do something to him. So in my head, it just going through my head, it's like, eh, why somebody? Fucking with my little brother type shit. That was, that was really going through my head. Well, you pull out and you shoot four times. Yeah, the gun jammed. Oh, the gun jammed? Yeah. Uh, after the fourth shot? Probably like the third shot. You end up getting shot twice? Right. Well, what parts of the body? I get shot uh, in my right hip bone and I get shot on my ass. I go in and out, though. Did you think that King Vaughn survived the shooting or did you know that he was gone at that point? No, I didn't. I didn't know neither one if he was gone or still alive. I just, like I say, I didn't even know it was him. So I didn't even know if he was dead or alive. I just was trying to make sure Kwando was good. Man, ain't that some shit? Man, that's why you can't run around putting your hands on nobody, man. I'm talking about this is the prime example of why you can't run around putting your hands on nobody. Because you never know when a man got that iron on him. And nine times out of ten, he got that iron on him. You know what I'm saying? So if you ever have something that's going on, y'all outside or whatever, even if you're inside, man, you can't be running around putting your hands on nobody, man. Because guess what? Man, some people just ain't fighting these days. You know, back in the days, in my days, you know what I'm saying, when it was, you know, it was up. You know what I'm saying? But these days, man, I ain't seen a fight in so long. Man, especially one that don't turn out violent at the end. So, man, I promise you, please stay away from fighting somebody. You know what I'm saying? Putting your hand on people, you know, because you never know. They have guns on them, you know what I'm saying? And I promise you, they'll kill you, you know? That's fucked up. King Vaughn was at the prime of his career. He was down there one of the best rappers out here. Going with the storytelling, you know, and the swag, you know what I'm saying? And just to say, bam, you know, he, he, he just got killed like that on camera in front of everybody. You know what I'm saying? That was some fucked up shit, you know? And at the end of the day, you know, it's just the fact that he went put his hand on somebody. Now, if if, if, if King Vaughn could have thought about that before he got out that truck, man, what if this nigga got that iron on him? What if this nigga killed me? I think he probably would have thought different, you know what I'm saying? So the moral to this story is, you know what I'm saying? Don't put your hands on nobody. Especially outside, man. Especially if you don't know if this dude got nothing on him or he got people watching him, you know. It might be the last time you touch anything. Y'all be easy.